Hello and welcome from Tesla Owners US and I need to show you this. Uh, we went with the Model X to a really bad sandstorm and maybe I can put some pictures in there uh, for you. For that sandstorm and it's really uh, peppered uh, and put uh, sprinkles on my windshield on the front windshield and this is not a Cybertruck windshield and I cannot protect that so it need to be replaced and you're gonna see how it's been done we wake hear the birds and see the sun side by side our fears are done all the good times just begun Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy, but things are finally right With you and I, the future is So why do I go to Blue Chip? So I have a long relationship with them. They are a local uh, glass uh, repair facility in the valley. If they, if you have a glass being repaired with them and they have, a, uh, they will have your warranty for chips for the life of the entire glass. Sure that they cannot fix more than three chips in the glass and I, I got in this case more than three. The next thing is what they coming with all Teslas to you with the exception of the Model X because the windshield is too big and they have all of the windshields and they control the windshields when they're coming them get, getting them delivered from Tesla if they are in a good shape uh, if there is no distortion on the, uh, on the windshield and so on and they allow me uh, to do uh, videoing and I will video this event as well how they for my yellow model X how they are exchanging the windshield Tesla does not allow me any camera uh, possibilities in their facilities they do allow it and they appreciate it and I appreciate that how good of a customer service they have they also arrange everything with the insurance so I only give them my insurance information have one call one three Call, one call with all persons together to do that with the insurance information and then that's it that's completed and I don't have to take care of anything else we make an appointment I bring my car there and within two hours I pick it up again and I'm done and that's their service and watch the service maybe we can have another footage afterwards uh, see you later so uh, watch that service it's amazing I don't want to go to sleep Cause this is something that I want to keep We will never meet again We have come to where the story ends Things will never be the same, I know And my heart sings the lonely road This is something that is 
hard to find. I just can't get you out of my mind. Oh, oh. we should never let it go. We should never let. So here we go, the car is finished and uh, here is Junior, let me say Junior or what's your name? Cole. Cole, okay. And he, he leads us through a little bit through the shop. So this is my car, they did the whole front windshield, excellent job, excellent work. And uh, we have here behind us, and you can probably explain it, a whole bunch of Model X windshields, right? Yes, so yes. we get direct shipments of Tesla windshields straight from the source. So. Yeah. Um, if you want to get your windshield replaced, uh, specifically a Model X, all you have to do is come in and schedule and there's no wait time because we already have the windshields in stock. Yes. And, uh, and they do also the insurance stuff, right? Yeah. Okay, next, not next topic. Let's go. All right. So this is our main workspace here. This is yeah. where we do a majority of our work from recalibrations to normal installations, everything. Uh, we have some windshields on the side here. We have some beautiful plants. We have all of our tools. Um, so yeah, it's a really nice workspace. Um, we can fit up to four, five, maybe even six cars on a good day. Um, yeah. But yeah. And actually, they come out to you uh, for the Model Y or Model 3, Model S? Yes, we do um, mobile Tesla installations and recalibrations. The only one we cannot do is a Model X because the windshields yeah. are too big. Yeah, too, just too big for, to handle for two people. Yeah. yeah? And the, another cool thing is, and what I did not know, is they also do everything what's required by law and by the insurance mm -hmm. to go through that and to recalibrate and so on. Tesla doesn't do it because they can afford not to do it. Yeah. But that's what I know. But, uh, that, but they do everything what they need for the insurance. And so when you drive off, the car does not recalibrate. The, uh, the recalibration is not reset and said, oh, wait for the recalibration. Everything's going to be fine. No, they recalibrate it and test drive it as well. Yes. As, well, as yep. I know. OK, let's go cool. to the next topic. All right. Yeah. Um, so this is our parking lot. This is where we keep our mobile vans. As you can yeah. see, the van is just a big billboard. Uh, has the phone number, um, all of our you know information on the side, and we do love our Yelp reviews. So yes, um, yeah, that's our mobile van. And, and actually, I got told that because of your Yelp reviews, mm -hmm. that's how actually you got selected from Tesla. Yeah, over ten years ago. Yeah. And uh, the, I know the service manager who was here first time. Mm -hmm. I was Tesla customer before there was even a service center in town. Oh, really? Yeah. So they came out with a tent to me mm -hmm. and repaired my roadster at that time. Oh, cool. Time. Nice. Yeah? So, um, so if you want to take a look inside, this van's a little bit dirty. <coughs> but, um, oh, wait, actually, no, it's not. Yeah. Um, but, you know, this is what the inside of our mobile van looks like. And then uh, the, the windshields are in here. Yeah, and then the windshields yeah. go here. And then this is how we do um, the recalibrations mobily. Uh, yeah. We have a, a board given by Tesla right here, as yeah. you can see. And then, um, yeah. yeah. Good. Okay, good. Awesome. All right. So, and then you have a big warehouse as well. Yeah, right, correct? so this is the warehouse over here. Yeah. And most of the stuff what you are storing here is you are storing uh, Tesla windshields. Tesla glass, yeah. Tesla glass, right? So a majority of these windshields in here are Tesla glass. Um, we do get shipments often, um, as you can see here. Yeah. This is the warehouse. We have everything from Model X, Model Y, new, old, all the good stuff. Uh, we also have our rack for tinted Tesla windshields. Um, uh, so yes. we do have... Uh, a business named Cactus Tint, and they do all of our tinting. Um, so if a customer does decide they want a tinted windshield, 
they so are, they can yeah. decide to have a tinted windshield and then they're gonna install their, they put the tinting on it before you yeah, install yeah before it. we install rather yeah. than doing it after yeah um so these are all them right here good let's go to the next one um so this is just more glass in here um sam this is my friend sam he is doing windshield inspections yes. um, so pretty much when we get a new batch of windshields which come in this big crate right here um we inspect every single one so what we'll do is we'll grab it from the crate we'll put it up here on the rack we'll turn the light on wipe it down flip it around make sure everything looks good yeah um, that's also a whereby tesla is probably relying on their own quality uh, yeah. that they're on their own quality control yeah what i don't rely on their quality control <laughs> sorry about that but i always check it yeah i already returned the car <laughs> or two <laughs> so and uh yes i uh when it's correct that you're gonna check that windshield and that's how it's gonna be done yeah. they take the windshield out there and put it on the stand and then they are you are, you are checking for distortion, yeah, uh, wobbling, the, yeah. uh, flatness or, or curves yeah. and all of that, right? So a lot of the times there'll be debris or something in the lamination. So for example, yeah. this is our crate that we, um, the that return we, that crate, we return right? back. Yeah, so we circle yeah. it, we'll tape it, and then we'll write what the problem is. So it looks like in this one, there's a debris in the lamination. Um, so what Tesla will do is they'll come back and they'll pick up all the, um, returns yeah returns and uh so basically you put it in the same crate you got it from yeah right and then yeah, said, hey guys the folks and send them back yeah and so, then i said hey guys look at this yeah you need to uh, send us new ones yeah for that. exactly okay. um and then this is our slightly smaller section of glass this is where we get all our aftermarket oem um cars that aren't teslas yeah. um so yeah this is and very I also heard from your dads that you're paying the same price as any other customer. Yeah. So if I'm get paid eighteen hundred dollar for the windshield, and I I made a copy of that, it, it, it was a big bill. Thankfully, the insurance paid for that. But if I'm paying, they don't get any rebate from any manufacturer. For, uh, they get uh, maybe a quarter, twenty percent, or whatever uh, rebate. What that is basically their margin. From Tesla, they don't get any, get so they're paying the same price is I would buy the windshield for myself. And uh, so Tesla probably has already a staggered price on their windshields, right? Mm -hmm. So they make money on you and or on me. Yep. On, on, the, on the total, right? And, but the quality, what I'm thinking is better because they do more um, and they do more, they do everything what's legally required. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Hey, uh, that sounds very good. Yeah. Okay. That was the tour? Yes. Okay. Then Actually, We'd like to say thank you for guys watching it and I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, uh, check the channel, check out the channel, uh, subscribe it. And uh, if you like it, thumbs up for sure. We might be visiting you again. They have awesome. some all nice events and we hope that everything works out for you. Okay, talk to you next time. Bye-bye.